Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. The other day I got asked the question, what are the Microsoft Edge components? So I actually thought that would make a good video idea. So in this video, in as short and as quick a time as possible, we are going to have a quick look at what the Edge components are, what do they do, and basically what do they mean. Now just to give you a brief overview, the Edge components are basically the building blocks or the different pieces of the browser that run in the background. So they are the components that make up the browser and basically make it possible for you to browse the web. Now the Edge components mustn't be confused with Edge flags. Unlike the Microsoft Edge experimental flags, Edge components are the main services as mentioned that run in the background and they cannot be enabled or disabled manually like experimental flags can. So if we just head up to the address bar and we head over to the experimental flags page, as many of you will know, because I do feature experimental flags quite regularly on this channel, flags can be enabled and disabled. And this is where the difference comes in um, between flags and components. Flags are not required uh, for the browser to run and are not required for you to browse the web where um, the different components are necessary to uh, run uh, the browser and that's why you cannot turn them off basically in the browser. So that's the difference between experimental flags and the Microsoft Edge components. Now to get to the Edge components uh, page and we head back to the address bar and this time we enter edge colon forward slash forward slash components and then we hit enter and this will take us over to the components page where all the different components required to run the browser the different services are listed on this page now just to go through a couple of their different meanings just to keep you in the loop in case you're unaware and i'm not going to go through all of these just about three quarters or so of the different components that are listed on this page the first one zxcvbn data dictionaries and um, basically this creates and registers the zxcvbn data component and these are data dictionaries that are used to check the password strength and compromised passwords in the browser moving on to the next one edge auto launch protocols just moving one or two down um, the browser can open um, external apps directly from different links so basically this component contains the list of the apps and the protocols to open speech recognition as many of you may know um, the windows operating system uh, provides uh, the speech recognition feature that allows you to use um, your voice for dictation so that's what the speech recognition is all about uh, trust protection lists and um, websites often use trackers and collect information from the user so basically um, the edge browser offers a tracking prevention feature that is privacy orientated and you can select the tracking prevention level in the browser um, from basically basic balanced or strict according to your different and personal needs half a nation i think this speaks for itself um basically is a component that is used to half and or break the word into two um web notifications denial list um websites apps and extensions can send a, not a notification if um permitted in the edge browser um edge shopping just moving down one or two um the browser has an inbuilt feature for shopping that can help to save time and money um basically allowing you to compare prices and find the best deals and coupons on the web as many of you may know uh, the edge math solver um, is an inbuilt feature that can solve math problems with step-by-step -step explanations and this is actually a feature you can also access by heading to more tools the math solver and that's the math solver in the site panel and i have actually posted on that previously so that's what the edge math solver is all about and then um autofill data heading down one or two again um, you can add and store your data um, in the Edge browser, like your name, date of birth, email, phone, number, address, just to mention a couple of examples. Um, Sub-resource sub filter rules, that's the next one down. Um, basically, this uh, is used basically by most security components. So as an example, some websites show intrusive and or misleading ads or content so it filters out malicious ads links and content then crl set and um, that stands for crl crl set stands for certi certificate revocation lists and contains um, a list of bad certificates so the browser can block websites that have bad certificates um, in an emergency situation origin trials just one a, a couple more to go actually and basically origin trials is a component for developers and it allows developers to experiment with new features in the browser um wide content decryption module um 
This enables the browser to play DRM, digital rights management, um, controlled uh, media like video and audio online. And then Edge Travel, second last one, shows the travel recommendations um, basically in the browser if you allow it to. And um, the, rec the recommendations are based on your browsing about traveling. And then the last one, Safety Tips. Um, safety Tips is a component enabled in the browser to show the warnings with the go back URL when you try to visit malicious websites. So that's basically a, um, a safety feature built into the browser, these safety tips. Now, yeah, you will notice that you can actually check uh, for an update for each individual component. Now, um, most of the time, you don't need to open this page to update the browser components individually, as you can see. And um, if the browser shows an error about any component, then you may need to come and update these manually. Now, I must be honest, um, uh, in all my years of um, using any browser and also the Edge browser of late, I've never had to actually come over to a component and update it individually. So I think um, that is more the exception than the rule. But nonetheless, if there is an error and when you are updating the browser and one of these components cannot be updated when the browser updates automatically in the background, then you may need to come over at some time and actually check um, for an update for each component or one of the components manually, but the browser will let you know when that needs to happen. So basically, um, also another thing to take note of here, um, just before we end this video, is that um, um, when Microsoft adds new features uh, to the browser, they might add new components as well. So this isn't always the same list at all times. And obviously when they renew, re when they remove, Microsoft removes um, old features, they also can remove some of these components so just take note of that so i hope that just gives you a better understanding as to what the microsoft edge components are all about in the browser so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one